All right, so today we're going to talk about velocity and acceleration. So the first thing we want to talk about is, let's say we, you're, you're sitting there, listening to the radio, and all of a sudden the radio announcer says, oh no, there is a huge class 5 tornado coming at 100 miles an hour, and it's located in Spring Valley. Should you be scared? All right, well, in the second scenario, you know, same thing. You're, you're sitting there. All of a sudden, on the radio, 100 miles an hour, class 5 twister, or a shark needle, all right? Coming at, at 100 miles an hour, you know, west direction. Should you be scared? Well, scenario one, you don't know. Second scenario, should you be scared? Of course not. West is... If it's going west, it's going away from us. So you shouldn't have to be scared. Maybe scared for other people, but not us. All right, so this is the, the difference between these two is that this one, the first scenario, deals with speed, and the second one deals with velocity. They're very similar, right? The main difference is, is that velocity is speed and direction, right? Speed and direction. And so therefore, a unit label for velocity would be meters per second east, for example. That'd be a, a real good label, some sort of distance over time. Well, acceleration is kind of branches off of velocity. In the book, in blue here, it says acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. In other words, it's saying that acceleration is simply a change in velocity over a period of time. And so when we look at acceleration, there's two different types. When we think of acceleration, we always usually think of positive acceleration. Hit the gas, mm, speeding up. All right, so you have your, your drag race car, right? And, all right? And so if you hit the gas, if the, the velocity and the acceleration are both going in the same direction. In other words, velocity, the speed and direction, is going one way, and the change in that velocity, a change in that speed or direction, is going in that same direction, you're going to speed up. Now, at the other hand, at the end of the race, you have your vehicle deploy a big old chute, right? What happens then? Well, there you have the velocity is going in one direction, right? Because you're still traveling forward. So that speed and direction. Where now the excel oops, supposed to be L. Acceleration though this time is going in the opposite direction. So remember, acceleration is a change in the ex in speed or direction, a change in velocity. So we here have, by having the acceleration going in the opposite direction of velocity, you get a, something called a negative acceleration, which means it's going to slow down. On the other hand, what if we tried this now? What if it says here, the car travels at a constant speed of 25 miles an hour, okay? And it's going on in off-ramp. All right, so top-down view of a car. That's supposed to be a car. All right, and it's going around the curve at 25 miles an hour. Is it accelerating? Well, the answer is yes. Well, what do you mean? It's, it's traveling at a constant speed. Well, wait a minute. It is traveling at a constant speed, but... Acceleration is a change in velocity, which is speed and direction. So you can have a constant speed and change direction, and as soon as you change direction, you're changing the velocity. And if you change the velocity, you have acceleration taking place. So even though it's a constant speed, you actually have acceleration taking place. So the basics here, hope you guys understand. Good luck. Until next time.